Hello Design Ninja, welcome to Close CD. So to create the lining guide, we are going to first make copies. I'm going to make copy of these pattern pieces. So first let's make copy of the bottom part, which is my key select, right click, and we want to select layer clone under. And I'm going to press on shift and then click one right here to place the pattern. And I'm going to make key select both of the lining, right click. We want to remove link editing, okay? As well as remove the sewing here. So I will use this edit sewing tool, my key select just the bottom pattern, and then press on the delete or backspace on the keyboard to delete the sewing. And after that, we're going to sew this back to the top. To sew back to the top, I will use this segment sewing tool here. Simply click one here to sew to, and then click one right here, the same right here and right here. And then we also want to sew this side seam, uh, the lining. All right, next we will do the same here with this top pattern. Simply use this transform pattern tool and my key selects both of the pattern pieces. Right click and then select layer clone under. And I'm going to bring it down here, just like that. Once again, my key select both of the pattern pieces. Right click and select remove link editing. And we want to remove this sewing. Simply use this edit sewing tool. We want to remove this sewing on the lining. Simply press on the delete or backspace on the keyboard to delete. Next, we're going to sew this together. I'm going to use this segment sewing tool here. We want to sew this part right here to this part, and this part here to this part, and then side seam. The same right here with side seam. All right, so now let's simulate. After that, we want to apply the laces on the shell of the dress and the silk fabric onto the lining. To do that, first, let's bring the lace fabric. I'm going to come over here to the library tab and then double click on the fabric folder and I'm going to type in here list and then press on return enter on the keyboard to confirm. So I'm going to select that list fabric there, drag and drop onto the first pattern piece. So as you can see right here, now we apply the list onto this pattern. Next, I'm going to my key select this top pattern here and then come over here to this fabric and click on this assign button right here to apply the fabric. I will do the same right here with the pattern piece and then click assign the fabric to the top part of the dress. After that, we want to update this sewing here. So to do so, I will use this edit sewing tool. Click on this sewing part here and then bring it down as well as here. And I'm going to adjust right here, just like that. And let's simulate once again to see the effects and actually looking pretty good. Next, we are going to apply the lace onto the sleeve as well. Simply my key select both of the sleeve and then click on this assign button right here to assign the lace onto the sleeve. Now we are going to do a couple of things here. First, we want to restrict five centimeter here from the lining and we want to apply silk fabric onto the lining. All right, to do that, first we will use this edit pattern tool, click one right here, press on shift, click one right here, then right click. We are going to select offset pattern outline. And we're going to change direction here to restrict and then type in here five centimeter. And if we look at the preview here, right now we have five centimeter shorter compared to the lace. Next, I'm going to click on OK to confirm. After that, let's check the sewing here before we are going to simulate. So the sewing actually worked perfectly. We do not need to update it. Now I'm going to simulate once again to see the dress fit. It actually looking pretty good, guys. Okay? All right, next we're going to apply silk fabric onto these lining. To do so, I will come over here to that fabric folders again and type in this search box here, silk, and press on return enter on the keyboard. And I'm going to select one of these silk here. So let's expand this a little so we get to see better. I like this silk knit. So let's simply drag this silk knit here and drop onto this lining. After that, I'm going to change my tool here to the transform pattern tool and my key select both of the lining come over here to this assign button right here to assign the fabric. I will do the same right here with this top part and click on assign. Next, we want to change the color of that fabric. Simply click on that silk fabric there and then come down here to the property editor. We want to click on this color chip here and let's change to whatever color that you like. In this case, I prefer some sort of pink is. We can click on one right here and kind of click and slide to kind of like light pink, just like that. 
and I'm going to click on apply and close. Next, we want to change that into a satin. So under fabric type, we are going to change this to silk and satin. And after that, we are going to come over here to this 3D rendering, click on it to turn on so we get to see the realistic effects onto the fabric. There you go, we're almost there guys. However though, we want to do a couple more things here. First, we want to let cut some of this part here of the lining. We will use this edit pattern tool. So right here, this is the back pattern. I'm going to my key select all these points up here and press on the delete or backspace on the keyboard to delete. So now we have the perfect lining for the dress. And the front part, we will do a little bit different though. So I will use this internal polygon slash line tool. Simply click one right here and then hover the mouse over here and then double click on this point here to place the line. And next, we will use this edit curvature tool to simply bring this up to create the perfect curve. And I'm going to switch the tool here to edit pattern tool. Click one on that line, right click, and we want to select cut. Next, let's remove this piece. We do not need that anymore. I'm going to click on the transform pattern tool, click one on that pattern, right click, and then we want to select delete, just like that. So now we have the perfect lining for the dress. Next, let's simulate one more time, guys, to see the dress and the dress looking pretty good. All right, so I'm going to stop the simulation. So over here, the rendering part here, we want to change the particle distance here to 10. Before we're going to do that though, I want to do a couple more things because when the particle get the smaller number, it's harder for the computer to render. So we will leave that last, okay? Unless you need to animate the garment, you want to change the particle distance here to 10 before you animate. So right now I'm going to change the shoe and the pose to the avatar. To do that, I will have this kid shoe here. By the way, guys, I have a video listed on the video description below on how to get the shoe right here from Clo Connect for free. So check it out, guys. Okay, right now I'm going to click on that kid shoe and pose here. And then I'm going to double click on the shoe right here to apply onto the avatar. Next, I also want to apply the pose the same as here. I'm going to simply drag and drop onto the avatar. And then by default, I have pose only, maintain avatar side, check, and full body. That's what we want. And I'm going to click on OK. So that is. Next, I'm going to change the particle distance here to 10, guys. And then press on return, enter on the keyboard to confirm. And one more thing, I'm going to click on this avatar here. Right click, and we want to move all avatar and garment to the ground. And let's expand this for now. I'm going to simulate one more time here to see the finished result. And that basically it for today. We learned the basics of clothes. Now you can start making clothes. See you in the next video. Bye.